In this video, we're going to be looking at focus stacking. And for me, the workflow that I use when I am focus stacking an image. The main focusing technique I use is infinity focus. Now and again though, when you have objects close to the camera, uh, you have to consider focus stacking. And in this case, the nearest object to me was around 25 to 35 centimeters away from the element on the lens. So I had to focus stack this one. This image is the result of the workflow I used to put it together. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync both of these images together in Lightroom for the edits that I've made to this one. And the main focus of this image here was down in the bottom two thirds, really, for this one. That rock there, for example, that was around about 30 to 40 centimetres away from the end of the lens. So that's the reason I am I chose to focus stack this image. So I've already edited that one to what I want for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync it with this image here for this image. This image, it was the bridge, the Brigadoon in the background that I'd mainly focused on. So as you can see here, this was shot at F11, ISO 160. Uh, for a quarter of a second. So that kind of gave me all the elements I wanted for this. So what I'm going to do is sync both of these up, take them into Photoshop, align them, focus stack them in Photoshop, bring them back in here, and then we'll finish them off. So for this, if I jump back to the image I've already edited, and you can see the edits that I've done here. I've brought back the highlights to bring back some of the colour. I was hoping for a better sunrise, but for this image, it's worked quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to hold down control and select that image there. And over here, you'll see that this is now changed to sync. And if I click sync, we've got a pop-up menu and everything that I need in this has already been checked. The one spot removal that I'm going to check as well, there's a small mark underneath the bridge. And so I'm going to bring all this together and then just click synchronize. And you should notice down here, if I flip between the two, there should not be much change, if any, apart from the water itself. So with both of these being selected, I'm going to right click, go into edit in Photoshop and open as layers in Photoshop. Now that they're both in Photoshop and they are sitting as layers above each other in Photoshop, so what I'm going to do again is select both layers, just by holding down control, selecting both of them, go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and let Photoshop do its magic. I have it in Auto, Vignette Removal. We will check for this one because as you notice, there is a small vignette. Let's see what it does with it. And there we have that. The next thing, because they're already selected, I'm going to go into Edit, Auto Blend Layers. And now I'm going to let Photoshop blend this one together, just to see how it comes up with the final image. I'm also going to leave Seamless Tones and Colours checked, but I am not going to check Content Aware Fill Transparent Areas. It's just a personal choice of mine, and it's stack images into one image. Click OK. Now that Photoshop's running through that, it's looking for the areas of sharpest focus and it's going to create masks and provide me with this finished image here. Now that it's blended both images together and focus stacked them, I'm going to clean up the image. So the first thing I am going to do, because of the focus breathing, I am going to remove any areas that I don't want. And I'm going to do this by using the crop tool. So I'm just going to pull that in. I'm not looking for a standard size for this. I quite like the effect that it's given me for this image. So there we go, we've removed that and now I'm going to clean up the sky. I don't like the branches coming in from the overhanging tree. Now I could take this back into Lightroom and do it from there. For me, my preference is to do it in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is Shift, Control, Alt and E, combine both layers together. And now I can zoom up and zoom in. And I have the option now of using the spot healing brush. So I could go in there and draw that in, down there. And the spot healing brush will work in most cases. So it's probably the quickest one to use. I'll take that out there. Yep, it's working perfectly for this. So 
I'll just keep doing that and then I'll take it down there. That for me, I am quite happy with. So that's the image that I'm going to be working with now once I take it back into Lightroom. A couple of other areas that I wanted to remove was this branch here and I just had to make sure it didn't create any other anomalies in the water and then another branch that was coming down from the top. So I took my time with this just to make sure it didn't look weird coming over the top of the rock. So let's just go for that. We'll get that one done and that's it. So, right, what we can do now is I'm going to take this back into Lightroom and edit it from there in Lightroom and I'm also going to use Luminar AI to pick out a few details in this. So I'm going to go File, Save and that will take this back into Lightroom for me. Right, now that we're back in Lightroom, I'm going to do a couple of edits to this before I take it into Luminar AI just to finish it off. And the first of my edits will be a gradient and the gradient I'm going to bring in there and I'm also going to play around with the colours in this gradient. That there for me looks better. I'm also going to go into the range mask and I'm going to play with the luminance here and if I show the luminance mask you can see where it's going to affect. So I'm going to adjust that slightly just so it doesn't eat into the trees just as much. There we go. I'll leave that one there. I'll turn off the range mask and then go back in to my exposure. And I'll bring the exposure down just slightly. And I'm also going to push the magenta slightly, just around there. That I'm happier with. From here I can lift the shadows Again, that's me quite happy and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit this in Luminar AI. I just want to bring out some more details. So, straight away edit in Luminar AI. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now that we're in Luminar AI, I'm not going to work with the templates here. There's only a couple of things in Luminar AI that I want to use for this image. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and accent this. And you should see the effect that that has straight away if I go for the before and after, before and after. So another one is structure, and I'm going to play with the structure quite a bit in this one. Just a bit there, I'm really happy with that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the structure from the sky. So I'm going to put the opacity right up 100% for this, and I'm just going to paint it in. And I am going to paint in the structure here, all the way through the image. I could put a gradient through this, but I prefer to do it behind for this image here. In there, in there. I may draw back now to about 50, in fact actually less, 35% and put some structure up through these trees here, that one there and up through there as well. So now if I go in and show you the before and after, you should see the difference that's made just by editing the Enhance AI and the Structure AI. We'll have a quick look at the landscape. This was just at sunrise, so I can use the golden hour in this and just push it ever so slightly. Not too much, just to enhance the colours that are there. So let's go for the before and after. So you can see the difference there straight away and that's only by using three of the tools within Luminar AI. If I wanted to take it a step further, I could go into the Pro Panel and go into Super Contrast and then start playing with this. Let's see how it adjusts the mid-tones. Just there. And then push the Shadows Contrast slightly. So I'm going to leave it at that. There's the Before, After, Before, after. So that shows you how different that image has become in a relatively short space of time. Using three programs but if you enjoy your editing, you're going to use them anyway. That's all within my workflow. Next thing I'm going to do is click apply. Funnily enough, that wasn't my favorite image of the morning and I get two or three others that I'm, I'm quite happy with, just from the point of view that that's the first time I'd been down to that location to shoot the Brigadoon scene here in the distance from that angle. Uh, I get this image here, and then I also got this one, and as the light changed, I tried to adapt really, really quickly to get these shots. So they're not perfectly focused, but I like the effect they gave. 
Uh, this one here, just with a glow on the water, and it was a case of zooming in and zooming out as quick as I possibly could as the light changed and just basically reacting to the location and how the light was changing. And as you can see by this image, in the background there, the Brigadoon is not in focus. My favourite image of the morning though was this one and this is when the clouds started to come in. It wasn't too long after that previous image there. Yes, it's not entirely sharp but overall that happened to be my favourite image of the morning. Hopefully you get something from that and hopefully it lets you see just another workflow. Perhaps there's some elements of it that you can bring into yours Perhaps not, perhaps you know a better way of doing it. Uh, I'd also like to say thank you very much for all the comments. I try and get back to them as soon as I possibly can. But over the last few weeks, that's been a little bit difficult just with Christmas coming up and everything else going on. Uh, I will get back to you though. So please feel free to continue leaving comments below because that really does help the channel. And also the thumbs up as well. That really helps the channel. Remember... Stay safe, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.